everyone uh, in this uh, class i am going to solve mechanics of solids or strength of materials problems let's begin the class a bar of mild steel 20 mm diameter is subjected to an axial pull of 50 kN so there is a mild steel bar so here bar is made up of uh, mild steel and its diameter is 20 mm and subject to axial pull or axial force 50 kN here axial pull is 50 kN the increase in length over a gauge length of 20 mm is measured to be 0.16 mm so here gauge length or initial length of mild steel bar is 200 mm and the change in length is 0.16 mm here increase in length means change in length so increase in length after tensile test chesaka manaki increase in length ent ikkada 0.16 mm so idu manaki change in length okay so initial length 200 mm the decrease in diameter was 0.0048 mm so there is a change in lateral dimensions so lateral dimension ikkada entna diameter so diameter enta change ayindi maniki what is change in diameter here 0.16 mm so decrease in diameter 0. sorry 0.0048 mm from the above data determine modulus of elasticity and poisson's ratio of the mild steel so first of all uh, let's draw the diagram there is a mild steel bar made in circular cross section how do you know uh, circular cross section it is made in circular cross section because uh, in this question he clearly mentioned diameter diameter is a dimension of circle so that's why in general mild steel uh, bars are uh, made in circular cross section because they are easy to hold and uh, generally stress is distributed evenly or uniformly so anyhow here what is the diameter of the mild steel bar clearly given diameter d let us say d d is diameter of the mild steel so d is equal to 20 mm subjected to axial pull of so axial pull for example axial pull let us consider p here p is axial pull and is subjected to axial pull of 50 kilo newton first of all let's draw uh, let's uh, write the given data what is the given data here given data so first diameter is given so diameter of mild steel diameter of bar you can write bar mild steel bar or bar my diameter of bar let us consider a notation d small d is equal to 20 mm and axial pull axial pull small p is equals to or capital p or wish so p is equals to 50 kN small p or capital p so 50 kN converted into newtons so 50 into 1 kN is equals to 10 cube newtons so 10 cube newtons next gauge length or initial length gauge length small n is equals to so gauge length manaki 200 mm given 200 mm and change in length here change in length or decrease in length change in length so change in length or decrease in length okay so change in length uh, let us consider delta l notation delta l is equal to how much change in length 0.16 mm yes 0.16 mm and change in diameter change in diameter 
change in diameter generally denoted by delta d delta d means change in diameter it means change in diameter so change in diameter 0.00 how much 0.00480 mm 480 mm so still any more uh, uh, any other information no so what we need to find ultimately what we need to find we need to find we need to calculate modulus of elasticity modulus of elasticity modulus of elasticity or what is the other name of modulus of elasticity Young's modulus so in general Young's modulus use in the in general Young's modulus and the meaning in the solution in general Young's modulus means measure of stiffness of the material so measure of stiffness name on Young's modulus and all okay so anyhow we need a modulus of elasticity or Young's modulus Young's modulus denoted by capital E and we need one more quantity Poisson's ratio Poisson's ratio so Poisson's ratio denoted by nu Poisson's ratio denoted by nu so we need to find out modulus of elasticity and Poisson's ratio so first of all let us calculate Young's modulus So since this body, uh, this mild steel bar subjected to axial pull, that is nothing but uh, normal force. Generally, normal stresses developed in this body. So what is the formula according to Hooke's law or stress strain theory? Young's modulus or modulus of elasticity is equals to normal stress by normal stress. Normal stress divided by normal stress. So, Young's modulus E is equal to normal stress generally denoted by sigma. Normal strain denoted by epsilon. So, Young's modulus is equal to, and in other words, stress by strain. Young's modulus is equal to stress by strain. So, to, find, to get Young's modulus or modulus of velocity, we need normal stress and normal strain. So, we have stress and strain. So, first of all, let us calculate stress. Let B1, equation 1. So, stress, normal stress, or simply we can say that stress sigma is equals to resistance force by area. What is the formula for stress? Resisting force per unit area. So, resisting force by area. So, in equilibrium uh, condition, resisting force is equal to applied force. Here, applied force or ag is nothing but ag axial pull. Or simply, you can say that force by area or load by area. Load by area. So, here, what is the force or axial pull? P. So, you can force and into axial pull. Load and you can apply just the axial pull. By area. So, nothing but area of the cross-sectional area of the mild steel bar. Here, cross-section of the uh, mild steel bar is circular cross-section. This is circular cross-section. So, for circular cross-section, what is the area? So, here load is equals to 50 into 10 cube newtons. Actually, 50 kilo newton is given. But we have to convert it into newtons. So, next, area. So, this is circular cross-section. My steel bar made in circular cross-section. So, area of a circle. So, you already learned. Area of a circle. This is circular cross-section. So, area of circle A is equal to pi by 4 into d square so where d is diameter of the bar 
So our diameter of the circle, here diameter of the circle how much? 20 mm. So A is equal to pi by 4 into diameter 20, 20 whole square. So if you simplify further, you will get pi by 4 into 20 whole square means 400. 4 ones are 4 hundreds. And 100 into pi, 100 pi. So what is the area? 100 pi. Here, what is the unit of diameter? Diameter unit is mm. Now, what is the unit of area? Square mm. Or mm square. So, we can make diameter mm low only. Area m only. Here, whole square is there. So, you will get mm square. Square millimeters. Now, we need to simplify this. Uh, we have to simplify these values. 50 into 10 cube by 100 pi. So, use scientific calculator to find stress value. Okay, this is our last step. Uh, so, sigma is equal to stress is equal to 50 into 10 cube means 50,000 by 100 into pi. 100 into, what is the value of pi? 3.14 or 22 by 7, approximate value. And unit of stress, Newton per mm square. So, let's calculate this value. 50,000 by 100 into 3.14, 314. Your two zeros are there. So we have to move this decimal point to the right side, two places. So you will get 100 into 3.14, 314. You can use scientific calculator. So for the calculator you choose there, you will get 50,000 by 314. You will get 159.23 Newton per mm square. So this much uh, stress developed in this mild steel bar. So remember one important thing, 1 Newton per mm square, unit conversion is very important. 1 Newton per mm square is equal to 1 mega Pascal. And 10 cube Newton per mm square or 10 cube Newton per mm square or 10 cube again 1 Newton per mm square 1 MPa. So 10 cube mega Pascal is equal to 1 giga Pascal. 1 giga Pascal. Okay now. So 10 cube Newton per mm square or 10 cube MPa then we call it 1 giga Pascal. So, giga ante kare, giga pascal ante meaning ante, giga ante 10 power 9. So, pascal, unit of pressure or unit of stress. So, pressure kuda units and pascal. Stress kuda man unit and kuda pascal or newton per mm square, MPA, GPA. So, 10 power 9 pascal, giga ante. Again, pascal means 10 power 9. So, pascal ante unit in newton per meter square. So these are all unit conversions. So anyhow, here Newton per mm square. Newton per mm square anna, 1 MPa anna, correct. 159.23 MPa or 159.23 Newton per mm square. This much stress developed in this mild state. So now we have stress value. So next we need normal strain epsilon is equals to so normal strain is equals to what is the formula so in general more precisely we can say longitudinal strain so since the body subjected to axial pull here my steel bar subjected to axial pull so axial pull subject out on the cavity experience just in the cavity mo the length and increase out on so therefore we have to consider longitudinal strain so obviously it's an axial pull axial pull valla vache strain enti longitudinal strain adhe push ayithe axial push ayithe emothundi generally ga push chesthe emothundi compressive strain develop avutundi 
సో లాంగిట్యూడ్ స్ట్రైన్ కాబట్టి మనకి ఇక్కడ ఏమొస్తుంది చేంజ్ ఇన్ లెంత్ బై ఒరిజినల్ లెంత్ ఆర్ గేజ్ లెంత్ చేంజ్ ఇన్ లెంత్ బై ఒరిజినల్ లెంత్ ఆర్ గేజ్ లెంత్ సో నార్మల్ స్ట్రైన్ ఆర్ లాంగిట్యూడ్ స్ట్రైన్ సిగ్మా ఓకే ఎప్సిలాన్ ఎల్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు చేంజ్ ఇన్ లెంత్ డెల్టా ఎల్ బై ఒరిజినల్ లెంత్ ఎల్ సో వీ కన్సిడర్ స్మాల్ చేంజ్ ఇన్ లెంత్ హోమ్ సిగ్మెన్ జీరో పాయింట్ వన్ సిక్స్ ఎంఎల్ అండ్ ఒరిజినల్ లెంత్ టూ హండ్రెడ్ ఎంఎల్ సో ది ఎంఎం ఎంఎం గెట్ క్యాన్సిల్ సో దట్స్ వై స్ట్రెయిన్ హ్యాస్ నో డైమెన్షన్స్ నో యూనిట్స్ సో స్ట్రెయిన్ హ్యాస్ నో యూనిట్స్ So 0.16 by 200. Let us calculate uh, this value. So use scientific calculator. 0.16 divided by 200. So what is the answer? 0.0008. So strain is equal to 0.0008. సో ఇప్పుడు మన దగ్గర స్ట్రెస్ ఉంది స్ట్రెయిన్ ఉంది సో వీ కెన్ క్యాల్కులేట్ ఎంక్స్ మోడ్లెస్ ఆఫ్ మోడ్లెస్ ఆఫ్ ఎలాసిటీ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు స్ట్రెస్ బై స్ట్రెయిన్ సో స్ట్రెస్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్స్ టు హౌ మచ్ వన్ ఫిఫ్టీ నైన్ పాయింట్ టూ త్రీ న్యూటన్ పర్ ఎంఎం స్క్వేర్ యూనిట్ ఆఫ్ స్ట్రెస్ బై స్ట్రెయిన్ జీరో పాయింట్ జీరో 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 ఎయిట్ just simplify for that so answer what is unit obviously unit of ens modulus or modulus of velocity in newton per mm square or mpa or gpa so simplify this 159.23 divided by 0.008 what will be the answer final answer so final answer 199 Zero three seven one like ninety nine thousand thirty seven point five. This is my final answer. So, इनका फार्दर का दिन ही सिंपल फेस है तो. So, this is one nine nine zero three seven point five. It can also be written as दिन इनके अलावा आए चो. Decimal point ही मूछ है तो left side. So one two three three decimal three places. So one ninety nine point. 0375 10Q 0375 still we need to calculate poisson's ratio okay next poisson's ratio second one. so poisson's ratio mu is equal to so poisson's ratio is a ratio of lateral strain by longitudinal strain ratio of lateral strain and longitudinal strain so lateral strain so poisson's ratio formula into lateral strain by longitudinal strain longitudinal strain so lateral strain lateral strain generally denoted by epsilon la suffix la so lateral strain here lateral means perpendicular direction perpendicular direction lo manaki a dimension change ayindi diameter change ayindi 
సో డయామీటర్ ఏమైంది ఇక్కడ రెడ్యూస్ అయింది సో డయామీటర్ డిక్రీజెస్ సో సో వాట్ విల్ బి ద ఫార్ములా స్ట్రెయిన్ మీన్స్ చేంజ్ ఇన్ డైమెన్షన్స్ బై ఒరిజినల్ డైమెన్షన్స్ ఇన్ జనరల్ స్ట్రెయిన్ డెఫినేషన్ యాక్చువల్ యాక్చువల్ డెఫినేషన్ చేంజ్ ఇన్ డైమెన్షన్ బై ఒరిజినల్ డైమెన్షన్ సో చేంజ్ ఇన్ డైమెన్షన్ ఏంటి ఇక్కడ డయామీటర్ ఓకే సో లాటరల్ డైమెన్షన్ సో లాటరల్ స్ట్రెయిన్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు చేంజ్ ఇన్ డయామీటర్ బై చేంజ్ ఇన్ డయామీటర్ బై ఒరిజినల్ డయామీటర్ చేంజ్ ఇన్ డయామీటర్ బై ఒరిజినల్ డయామీటర్ ఓకే సో చేంజ్ ఇన్ డయామీటర్ డినోటెడ్ బై ఎప్సిలాన్ ఏ ఇస్ ఈక్వల్ టు డెల్టా డి బై ఒరిజినల్ డయామీటర్ స్మాల్ డి ఈక్వల్ టు చేంజ్ ఇన్ డయామీటర్ బై ఒరిజినల్ డయామీటర్ చేంజ్ ఇన్ డయామీటర్ హౌ మచ్ ఇవే జీరో పాయింట్ జీరో జీరో ఫోర్ ఎయిట్ బై ఒరిజినల్ డయామీటర్ హౌ మచ్ ట్వంటీ ఎంఎం జీరో పాయింట్ జీరో జీరో ఫోర్ ఎయిట్ ఎంఎం బై ఒరిజినల్ డయామీటర్ ట్వంటీ ఎంఎం సో ఎంఎం గెట్ క్యాన్సిల్ సో ఆబ్వియస్లీ స్ట్రెయిన్ హ్యాస్ నో యూనిట్స్ సో లాటర్ స్ట్రెయిన్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు సింప్లిఫై విత్ క్యాలిక్యులేటర్ సో క్యాలిక్యులేటర్తో సింప్లిఫై చేస్తే you will get 0.0048 by 20 you will get 0. Point 0. 0.00024 or it can be written as 24 into 1 2 3 10 to the power of minus 3 so lateral strain is equal to 24 into 10 to the power of minus 3 next we need longitudinal strain we already calculated longitudinal strain epsilon l is equal to change in length by original length so change in length already we calculated any home 0.16 by ఒరిజినల్ లెంత్ టూ హండ్రెడ్ వి గాట్ జీరో పాయింట్ జీరో 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 ఎయిట్ మా పాయిజన్స్ రేషియో మ్యూ ఇస్ ఈక్వల్ టు లాటరల్ స్టేట్ హౌ మచ్ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ ఇంటూ టెన్ టు ద పవర్ ఆఫ్ మైనస్ త్రీ అండ్ హియర్ లాంగిట్యూనల్ స్ట్రెయిన్ సో లాంగిట్యూనల్ స్ట్రెయిన్ సారీ దిస్ ఇస్ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ ఇంటూ టెన్ టు ద పవర్ ఆఫ్ so we are in how many places five places 10 to the power of minus 5 it must be minus 5 so 24 into 10 to the power of minus 5 by 0.008 so 8 into 1 2 3 4 places 10 to the power of minus 4 8 ones 8 threes mu is equal to 3 into so 10 to the power of minus 5 10 to the power of minus 4 you will get 10 to the power of minus 1 so mu is equal to 0.3 so what is the value of poisson's ratio 0.3 so my final results the final answers n small less e is equal to approximate value 200 gpa gigapascal and my poisson's ratio is equal to 0.3 so this is the uh, procedure to solve uh, stress strain uh, problems okay let's solve one more problem 